Alright guys, what's the crack? This is Gar, and this is more Crash Landing. You join us here down in my basement, where you'll notice I am also joined by a few mates. Because we have done a lot. We have done an awful lot since the last time you saw me, actually. Full disclosure, we actually kind of did more, and then I had a really bad crash. when I was I blue screened when I was playing, and I lost not only a bunch of recording stuff, actually. Not too much recording, but <clears throat> mostly... Uh, a lot of stuff I'd actually played and worked on, so a bit of a bit of a nightmare. But we're joined by a couple of chickens here because I moved them over, and actually, any time that they've laid an egg, I've actually just uh, I think there should be some more chickens over here. There are. I've actually just launched it, so we got quite a few more chickens. There's a buddy over there as well. So we've got a lot of things to show you. Not much has changed with my pneumatic craft setup. I think these are new. I added some new air compressors, so we've got a reasonable amount of air compression. Um, I've started making some empty PCBs because I want to make one of these things, a UV light box and stuff, and I'll kind of show you all that why in a minute. Um, so put in a few more elevator blocks. This is the main jobby over here, right? So lots and lots of water, which is quite good actually, uh, because it means that I can really like I'm not I'm not worried about water at all at the moment like at all which is really nice because I used to be look at this the drum is over three quarters full of water got these two as well got this as well for like making uh, clay with which I've done quite a bit in fact I think I might need to do it again because if we come and take a look in here I'll, I'll show you all this in a second I've got one crucible left to make but actually we're doing all right so I don't even think I'm too fussed about that but basically long and short of it is let's come up quick up in fact actually I deliberately left something to show you so I've done a lot of work on this let's come and take a look at this let me just check something good sometimes I went into peaceful whenever I was playing just to like make things a little bit easier so we fully finished this setup up light all the piping out got all the things fitted together filled with sludge already got like absolutely tons of sludge which is funny to say the least but I figured I, I realized that these machines for some reason don't require oh did I just lose one of those oh there it is don't require like that to be pumped away for it to work which I really thought it did so I'm not that's I mean that's that's good as far as I'm concerned um do I have anything to tie her up with I don't I wonder if I can grab those from here I can grab one of them I'll be able to go up in a second, because I let it all grow out, and I think most of it's grown, hasn't it? Because I wanted to show you how it works. So, I filled, well, I didn't fill this up. This was filled with the equivalent of two blaze, I used my bl uh, ender generator up there, and I filled it up with two blaze, what are they called? Ender eyes. Ender pearls plus blade powders, ender eyes. Got a decent amount of power, and that's what's left. And now, hopefully, if I get up, we'll be able to see this in action. So, it's really impressive. It's really, really impressive. It goes quite quick, even though I actually reduced the speed of which the energy flows out, because I wanted to try and make it last a little bit longer. But it's going really quick, so this one collects all the saplings. And it's enough to get enough saplings to be an overflow for saplings. I actually wonder how much saplings we've got here. We still only have one, that's fine. So we're still building it all up. But, still good, still good. This guy collects the leaves, and we are teeming with leaves. Let's quickly just go up and see, already planted the new saplings, so that's going good. Let's collect the, there it is, this jobby. New saplings being planted there already. Good, 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 good. Already filled with energy. Boom, goes the dynamite. Oh, yeah, you've probably seen that. Well, I'll show you that, those things later. <laughs> so, re reasonable amount of wood, absolutely teeming with saplings, uh, leaves rather. This is an overflow chest, which I sometimes just manually, you know, put them stuff back in because that's easier. <laughs> because I'm putting these leaves out for this way for water and also, actually, how much am I picking out at a time? Just the one. Still, that's all right. This way for water and this way for dirt. And we've got 18 stacks of dirt now, which is phenomenal. It's really cool because I plan to make a little oasis and part of that will involve, well, a big part of that will involve dirt. So that is awesome. Moved my auto sifting setup down here. So here you'll see my auto sifting setup. These are all the things you get from sifting dust. And you'll see here that I am currently not sifting anything actually. Because, oh, hello. Don't get that, please. <laughs> because I had, I, what I was doing was just gravel. 
and you'll see actually I'm still sifting gravel so that's fine because I was looking for emeralds long story short I wonder how many we've got I haven't checked this in a while oh two there and two diamonds that's decent you also see some sand stuff because I tried sifting some sand because I'm still looking for um what's it called ancient spores oh I turned mobs on, on my map by the way which I quite like so gonna keep that so three diamonds from there that's pretty cool oh and another one diamond and two more emeralds so four emeralds total I was originally looking for eight, but I realized since I don't need eight, and I'll show you why in a second. So this is my cobble generator. I've moved that here. I'm actually auto-generating lava, uh, as you can see. I don't know why that's pink. It never used to be pink. Then there was a bug that caused that to be pink and that one down there to be black. That's now gone to light blue again, but for some reason this is still pink. I know it takes its color from the texture. So I thought it would be more like one of these two colors, but anyway, maybe it's an aggregate of those two colors, who knows. So auto-generating lava, more netherrack under there, really cool. I can come over here and I can make stuff with lava if I need to. So if I need to put redstone in and get netherrack, uh, I think there's other recipes, I don't know them. All my metals down here because I've moved my uh, auto smeltery here, which is really cool. Uh, lots and lots of metals. In fact, let me just show you how it works. Oh, should I? It'd be a bit of a waste. It would be a bit of a waste. So I've only got one stack. Look, I'm moving slowly backwards because of the fan. I'm actually thinking of replacing this here because I find a really good setup um, on VSWE's thing, which is really cool. So I also made a couple of, where are they? I think I moved them upstairs. So I left some electrum stuff in there. I made some uh, bronze, I think, actually, for a couple of quests that I haven't used. Always get some lag whenever I go down this way. I think it might be all the glowstone nooks, but anyway. So... You kind of seen it already, but let us go down here where there's a little bit of a secret passage and where I will show you, actually this might be a bit dangerous because it looks as if there already is quite a few things spawning up here. So let's just go out this way. I've lit up this massive area, so hopefully we won't get much spawns. I'm actually going to have to light it up more because this is hopefully going to be my mob spawner. Not got any setup at all yet in it really other than just the uh, the blocks and I do hope to change all those blocks I I built one and then I realized I really like the look of it and so I built another because it reminded me quite a lot of do you know the tires from the world from the world tr not the world trade center the world the world fair in men in black it reminded me strongly of that so I think I'm going to keep it for that reason. So that's cool. Um, I think it's cool anyway. You two tell me. And I moved all my stuff from over there to here. In fact, that's pretty much all gone now. So all of it's here in the little little enclave. How'd that guy spawn there? There must be some dark areas over there somewhere. Oh, well. So all my stuff's here. All pretty organized or reasonably well organized. A um, lot of stuff. My food's still here. Haven't got anything sort of out with that. But let's put away some rubbish, shall we? Because I want to... I think I've got it here, actually. Yes. So I'm going to be using these. And I'm going to be using oh, this. I want to start automating some stuff. I originally was... Oh, hello, buddy. Hi, oh, hello. You're actually quite tall and would kill me otherwise. How did, how did you manage to get all the way there? That's annoying. I guess he tracked me from all the way over there. That's a bit rubbish. Uh, I'm ignoring those. Actually, no, I kind of want those bones. Bones are pretty useful. So let's put them away somewhere. Good, good, good. Right, a few things I want to do. So I might do that off camera, this stuff, because I've got an idea for how to, how to automate refilling this from a video uh, from a guy called Kappa. I'll put a link in the description. And I've got an idea to use this uh, this mod, Steve Factory Manager, an incredibly amazing mod. Got an idea for how to use that to replace my sieve setup, and that would allow me to reclaim my autonomous activator and maybe use that for a different setup altogether. But right now, I think, because we're all here together, I think we're going to do a few stuff together on camera, uh, quest-wise, because I want to do some quests. And then off-camera, uh, what I'll do, I think, is try and set up the grinder setup a little bit more and try and work on a bit of a mob farm, because I think... I'm going to be going for either mob essence or something for pyre. Not entirely sure. I might go for redstone. We'll see. Not entirely sure. But what I certainly want is a renewable supply of mob drops, I think. So, you know, always good to have a mob farm. So, we actually came further than we realized and under pressure. And I've got a few of these. I got this because I wanted those. So, I can claim that soon. And I also just did a little bit more work to get this. 
So we can get these things already. So I think these, this is the only thing that's difficult to craft. We've got those already, so that's fine. Awesome. Actually, those aren't even that expensive anymore, so that's not as awesome as it used to be. But that's still cool. Uh, and this is awesome. We don't get to choose one, but I want to see what's in this reward bag. Huh. Protection. Reading. I'm not sure what that does. Blast protection and feather falling. Huh. Well, don't mind if I do. Pity that I can never wear that. It's a really shame that you can't combine that with something. That would be a nice enchant to have here. It would be like to turn it into a camel pack. But, oh well. So, I think that makes me... Doesn't really make, makes me a little bit warmer, but I think that should be alright. Um, okay, so what else have we got going on? Um, yes, so... I was originally going to do... So, so I, long story short, guys. Let me show you. I was going to make this thing in here be powered, which is why I had the coal generator, or the survival generator down here. I was going to make that be powered by the wood that it formed. So I was going to put a f redstone furnace here, get powered by this cyclically, basically generating more power than the redstone furnace would use, I think, I hope it would anyway, um, to generate some coal, or charcoal rather, to power this, to power the entire tree farm. Because it's working really well. I don't need to, I don't need to work fast at all. I just needed to... To, to work basically now so um i just i just need it to work so it doesn't need to work fast at all it just needs to occasionally work so uh i needed what did i need oh hello whoa didn't anticipate that with my little don't steal from me skelly don't steal from me okay let's actually just go down this way there we go um, the thief skeleton is a bit of a pain in the ass, actually, so that was a bit of a roundabout way to go, but at least we're here now. Okay, so this should be reasonably well protected. So I needed... What did I need? Okay, yeah, I needed... I came over here, and I used... Oh, well, hello, I forgot that you guys can climb. <laughs> I, I made a lot of bunch of this stuff, but I made another machine frame because I was going to make one of those redstone furnaces. And I still think I will make that because it's pretty straightforward. I need bricks. Okay, I need a bit of dust, and I think I put my dust here, so that's not too bad. Um, so I'll make some I'll make some bricks soon. But what I was going to say is, um, I was going to make that, and I still will make that because I think it's one of the quests in here somewhere. But I started to realize I was running out of. Um, let me show you. I was running out of these, the unassembled PCBs. We started with a bunch, but I'm not got any left. So whilst I've got a way of making these now, I have no way of making these. These are made either through this way, or, as you can see, you don't need to make it that way. You can just put it in a UV light box, I think. I'm not a pneumatic art expert, but I think you can put it in a UV light box. So you make these, like that. So that's why I made a bunch of them downstairs. So now we need to make a UV light box, okay? So I was like, oh man, how do I make one of these? Oh, okay, not too bad. This is pretty simple, blah, blah, blah. Oh no, I need eight emeralds, which is why I started to do gravel. But then I had a look just through this, and you'll see that Blueprint for Success is a repeatable quest, and all it requires to get a PCB Blueprint, which is one of the things we needed, is one emerald, one etching acid bucket, one compressed iron ingot, and one plastic. So, I've got that now, I've got that, I just need this and that, and that's not too bad. So I think I'm actually going to just... Can I just manually submit that now? Okay, that's fine. I've got to put another plastic in there, I think. But that's okay, because the stuff I have in my inventory, inventory inventory now, I think, should be what you need to make one of these. A bucket of water, two spider eyes, two creeper plant seed plastics, two zombie brains, and two gunpowders. So, I think I have all of that now. So, let's put it in. Oh, it doesn't, it's not a bucket of water, it's just a bucket, but that's easily rectifiable. In fact, whilst we're over here, let us, boop, boop, come on, there we go. I think I need f four of these, because I think that roughly will get us four bricks. Well, not roughly, but exactly, actually. But that's cool. So here we go, let's go over and put all this stuff in, shall we? So, Let's organize it out first, okay. So we need one of these, two of these, two of these, two of these. I think that's it, isn't it? And two green plastics. So just all that stuff, okay. 
And whilst we're here, let's just make sure that we're only pulling out etching acid. Okay. I figured that this is this is the easiest way to make sure this doesn't mess up as much as to do that in advance. Also, I realized that you need a reasonable amount of pressure to even open these valves. So I think that should be enough. It only requires one bar, so we should be able to not drop down to less than one bar when putting this stuff in. We might not, but we shall see. So I might just let that work. Let's see. That should be able to drop in pretty straightforward. And it should go in here. Uh, and then I'll just let that happen, I think. I should think, where should I put these speed upgrades? I think I'll be putting them in the UV, in the UV um, light box. I think you can put that in. So let's have a quick read of what else we need to be doing. So we need to get an emerald and a compressed iron bucket. Okay, so that's fine. Get the emerald over here. And throw this egg whilst we, whilst we got it. I'm actually getting a reasonable amount of chickens this way. There we go, see? Getting a reasonable amount of chickens this way, which is, which is hilarious, because it took me ages to get more than one. That is unbelievable. <laughs> I don't know what I've just done, but it's unbelievable. Can I eat any of these? That was a silly thing to do. Yeah, that was a silly thing to do. Anyway, let's grab one of the emeralds. It's actually nice doing gravel because it means I'm getting, where is it, nickel, which is nice to get ferrous because that's nice to get invar, which I will need more of to make pipes and various different things, machines and all sorts, so good. Uh, I'll need to probably set up an auto hammering or an auto pulverizing for the um, for the cobble I'm genning. So let us quickly, did I have a compressed iron? I did manually submit that and see if this has happened yet, has it? Might have, there's nothing in there. Hurrah! So, let us manually submit that, get our bucket back, and get the PCB blueprint, which is awesome, because the only thing else we need now is some compressed iron. Well, let's get nine of it, I think, because we need one, two, three, four for that, five, six for that, so we need six. Let's put that away, and we need to make glowstone and redstone. We need three of those, and just one glass, and that should be it. So, let's do that now. And then I can put the speed upgrades in it. I think it needs to be outside, or at least I presume it needs to be outside because, you know, glass. Uh, sorry, UV. Uh, oh, what's that noise? Interesting. So that's that. Let us use this guy. Okay, cool. So make our pressure tube and use this. Put this here. Oh, did I? No, there it is. And now we need to make the lamps so that's should be enough and this should be empty it is good 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 um, there we go awesome three redstone lamps blah 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 put, 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 UV light box and let's put the UV light box I don't know here yeah and let's put in oh does that need to be Not enough air pressure. Put it in empty. Well, maybe it doesn't need any UV. Maybe it just needs pressure. And in that case, can I use these pipes? I think I left the pipes up there. Ignore me. Can I use these pipes to just extend that a little bit? In fact, you know what? Sorry. Let's also grab four charcoal just to get more bit of pressure. Can I use these pipes to, hmm, where should I put it? I think I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to connect the pipes the other way around to make sure that the pressure. Good, that worked. Okay, good. And let's put in half the charcoal there and half the charcoal there. And... Can I put in... I don't know why these separated. Let me try and put in... Oh, they stack in them until they don't stack. Okay. Is it working? Problems. No problems. So it should be working. Okay. Is it going faster? I think it is. I don't know if I need to throw it in etching acid afterwards. I'm not sure. We shall see. 
We shall see, because I don't know. <laughs> so when they all came out, they grouped together, but then they suddenly don't, so that's fine. Okay, so... Awesome. So I'm going to wait until it's 100%, and I'll be back with you guys later. Cool.